Hey, Justin from Gold Penguin here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a digital download store in WooCommerce with a Breakdance Builder website. So Breakdance integrates with WooCommerce pretty amazingly, pretty awesome. In less than 10 minutes, I will walk you guys through installing WooCommerce, setting everything up, and then adding a product to your store and having it being able to check out uh, right away on <laughs> Breakdance. So what you'll have to do is, first of all, install WooCommerce. You could find this on the WordPress plugin page. It is free. Um, go ahead and install that, and then we'll activate it. Um, we do have some other options here, like PayPal payments, Stripe payments. I know there's more of them too, uh, Google Analytics. There's a bunch of things, but you don't really need that right now. We'll get into that at the end of this. It's going to ask us what we want to, uh, what else we want to install. So go ahead and set up your store. Put the things that you know you want in here. Um, I would say no to this. We are going to get to the industry. Check this or whatever you are doing. And here's a page where if you are selling physical products, you can keep it on. I'm not going to for this tutorial. I'm just going to do downloads. Um, downloads is anything that we want downloaded. You could also do subscriptions, but everything else is going to cost money. Okay, so now that we're done with this, it's going to ask us how many products do we plan to display. Uh, pick whatever you want. This stuff really doesn't matter. I'm going to say no to these and continue. Okay, so now it's going to give you some recommended business features. And I would keep these three checked if you are planning on setting up an actual store. And then I would uncheck these unless you're planning on working on growth right now, but you can install all of these manually later. I'm actually going to un uncheck all of these because I'm not going to be doing anything with payments right now, and I don't need any speed increases with Jetpack. So once we're on the theme page, if you have Breakdance installed, activated, and good to go, you should see Breakdance Zero theme. And you're going to want to continue with this because Breakdance integrates directly with WooCommerce. It's really great. Um, and now when I'm here, we're going to go to Pages, and you can see all of these pages are now added to my my uh, website automatically. We have no products here, so it can't really show anything, but I'm just going to show just how easy it is to set up a new product to your store. So go to products, add new, and we're going to type something in. So I'm going to call this video um, download, and then you can enter your description here, description here. Uh, you can go ahead and upload a product image if you want. I'm not really going to go over a bunch of WooCommerce settings, just going to show you how to make a downloadable product, which is like this, and show you how easy it is to integrate in Breakdance. So if we have a regular price, and then we can do a sale price. Um, there's a lot of really cool options that you could do with WooCommerce, so go ahead and check those out. And then we can put a file name and upload a file. So I have nothing here. I've got a WooCommerce placeholder picture, so let's do that. Um, and let's call this digital download. Okay, you could also set things like a download limit if there's something that you only want to be able to download three times. And then you can do how long until this expires. So I'm going to say, let's say seven days. Again, you don't need to do any of these. This is just me showing you guys the options. So once this is done, we'll publish this. And we can go directly to our page, which is pretty cool. We've got video download right here. This is our picture. Um, and we'll do this. But I'm going to show you if we navigate to the shop page of the website, we have our, our shop, our product is right here. And if we had 10 of these, we'd have, I think it's like four, four per row, whatever. You could customize all of this uh, as you want. But yeah, let's go ahead and add this to the cart and view cart. And so now you'll see we can check out without anything. If you did make this uh, something that costs money, you are going to have to, you know, do that. But uh, go ahead and enter your name. Um, and then your address, whatever you want to do, and then random things. Okay. Um, yeah. And then once you hit place order, again, assuming you have everything set up and uh, the checkout went through, this is what your user is going to see. It's going to say video download, and you'll see they can download their digital asset over here. They've got three downloads remaining. This is great if you're doing a plugin or, or anything. Um, not really sure, but you can digitally download it here. And boom, just like that, we have our digital download good to go. Um, if we refresh this page, it will probably tell us that we only have two downloads left, um, and then we'll tell us about our product. So that's really cool, but what about like, hey, I have a website, but I want to see all my things, all my purchases on one page. So there's another page that automatically gets installed, and it's my account. And so again, this should all be listed um, uh, on your page, we do have a tutorial on like uh, special login so that if you are logged in on the navigation bar, you click on it and it'll take you to your order page. Um, but yeah, once you're here, this is what your user is going to see and they can go to orders and it'll tell them what their order is and they can view it. And if they still have downloads left, boom, 
just like that. And it's so clean, it's so simple, very easy to set up. You could also customize this if you want to, but you also have a downloads page, which will tell you, you know, the name of it. Um, and it's really awesome. And we set this up in, in a few minutes. So pretty cool how easy it is to integrate this. If you want to customize the theme, Breakdance gives you options to do so. Um, but if not, if you just want to set up a little download on your website, that's how you do it. You can download pictures, videos, plugins, anything you really want to put up. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. It really helps a lot. And subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any other tutorial ideas or suggestions. And I will see you all in the next video.